Tacos Dorados or Golden Tacos or Taquitos. Yep, they're all the same thing. And I tell you what, that's what I'm going to cook on the Blackstone today. So stick with me. I'm Jimmy Eats and I'm going to show you how it's done. All right, everybody. Got the Blackstone heating up. I got this side right here on a high temperature. I got this side off because I'm going to keep my, my cutting board and I'm going to do some prep work while I'm cooking this hamburger. So what I'm going to start with is a pound of burger. It's just the 80-20 uh, uh, hamburger. I'm going to fry it up. I'm going to make it into taco meat. And while that's going, I'm going to shred some cheese and do some other things. So I'll get this on there to start off. Now over here, I'm going to shred some Colby Jack cheese. Um, I buy the, the block because it, it melts better if you buy the, the cheese and shred it yourself. I found out that if you buy the already shredded cheese, it just doesn't, it doesn't melt the same. So I'm going to shred about six, eight ounces of this. All right, I'm going to call that roughly six ounces of Colby Jack cheese. So that's going to be good for my shredding. I'm going to flip this around, keep this for cooking. Okay, so now I'm going to slice up a tomato. I'm going to dice it up. And meanwhile, keep stirring the meat. It's almost ready to have some seasoning on it. And what I did with the cheese, I just went ahead and put it into this mixing bowl. And that's what I'm going to do with the meat and then some of the other ingredients to make my, my center filling. So filling. So that's that's where that's going. So I'm going to keep on dicing until that's done and then we'll... Okay, so my burger is now ready for some seasoning. And I'm just going to use my original Ortega or Oil Paso, excuse me, taco seasoning. No specific amount, just to my likings. So season it up. I like that taco seasoning, so I go kind of thick with this. And then mix it up. Smells wonderful. I love taco meat. Okay, so while that's going, I'm gonna prep up some onion. Kick this down to low. Okay, so dice the onions up. About that much is all. Okay, so in my mixing bowl, I have my cheese. And now I'm time to time to put the meat in. It's gonna help it melt because it's hot, which is good. Also, in this bowl, I'm gonna throw a little bit of onion, a little bit of tomato, some cream cheese, about. Oh, at least half or more of this container of cream cheese. If I can get it open. I do have it at room temperature, which makes it easier to mix, which is what you want. It's hard to mix if it's good and cold. So, I'm just going to break a chunk off, like so, and I'm going to start to mix. See if I can get that to break down. Okay, so mix this thoroughly, get it all to be kind of like a paste almost. Also, not to forget, a little bit of salsa, Velde, Velde, green salsa. I don't know if I said that right. Um, put a little bit of that in there. 
Mm. It's got a good taste. I'm gonna put this in there. Some black olives. Because I love my black olives. Drain the juice. And then a little bit of my homemade salsa. It's a mild, so it shouldn't bother nobody. Just opened it, it's canned, canned it this summer. So a little bit of that. A couple scoops, three scoops will be plenty. Okay, now continue to stir it up. Okay, so I've got this mixed up now. I got it the consistency I like. Take a look at that mixture. Well, that's looking good. And of course, you should always try what you're making to make sure you like it. Perfect. That's gonna be good on these little taquitos, golden tacos, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, over here in this pan, I have some refried beans. I'm gonna heat them up, because I like refried beans on my stuff. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna have a drink of my, my drink. And then I'm gonna make some guacamole for this as well. So, for guacamole, what I like to do, start in the middle, Go around in a circle like this until you come back to your starting point. Twist it, pop it open. Just as easy as that. Hit that pit. Got to get the pit out of there. Just like that. Okay, now take your spoon, scoop out the avocado in the middle. Just like so. Discard that. A little pit in is right there. Chop it up. I want to keep it kind of thick though and chunky. So I don't want to make it like a runny paste by any means. So I just beat it up a little bit like this. Okay, so I got my guacamole or my avocado beat up to about that consistency right there. Still thick, a little chunky. That's perfect. So to add to that, you put a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this green salsa, just a little bit, like that. And mix it up. Oh, and one more really important thing, not to forget, in your guacamole because it prevents it from turning brown which would be a slice of lime so I'm gonna put a little bit of lime in there oh about that maybe not too much lime I don't have a lot there so so mix that up and we have some good guacamole. Maybe a little bit of salt and pepper for flavor. That's a mixture of sea salt and pepper that I just did add with, so. Okay, homemade guacamole. I think that'll be pretty good. Have a little taste. Good enough. Go ahead and stir up my refried beans. I like refried beans. No one else here does, but I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my top of mine, so it should be really good. Okay, and next, what I'm gonna do is gonna heat up some of my taco shells. Now I have some little, little size, I don't know if that's what, eight inch? taco shell or so. Mission flour tortillas. 
Okay, so the best way to do this that I have found is to heat them up a little bit, make them pliable by just putting them down like so. Now, put that down, take these off, put them over here, out of the way. So, take a scoop of this, put it on there. Now, it don't take a lot. They're not supposed to be very big, so don't load it up so you can't roll it. About like so. Shape them like that. Take it, hold it, tuck it in, roll it up. Like so. Then what I, what I need to do is take a little shot of oil right there, and it'll help kind of hold it together a little bit. Okay, so there's one, one taquito, go for two taquito, put some on here, spread it out, like so, roll it up, tuck it in, roll it up like so. The key is having these taco shells warm and also that little drop of oil right there makes a difference. It keeps it together. All right, everybody. Down to my last taquito. I actually have only two shells left over. Not a bad guess. I think I did all right on that one. I didn't go too far with it. Although I do have a pretty good pile of taquitos right there. So this one here is my last one. Okay, and the next we're going to put them on this black zone and make them crispy. That's going to be the end result. So these two taco shells can slide over here for now. All right, so what I'm going to do to crisp these up is I'm going to throw some oil down. I like that. I got it on a medium. I actually got it on a low. I'm going to kick it up just a little bit. I'm going to put these down. I'm going to put the seam on the on the bottom press them down just a little bit so they stay just like that put them all on here okay I got them all on here now I'm gonna let this side brown a little bit while I'm waiting I'm gonna take this oil and I'm gonna put a little bit on top just like this and then I'm gonna take my little my brush I'm gonna spread it around so when I roll it over it helps make them crispy and brown and they will be delicious. All right, we've been cooking them on this side for a little while, so I'm gonna flip them over and we're gonna see what the other side looks like. Perfect, a little crispy looking. It's exactly how I want them. I'm gonna roll them all over. All right, I think I got them browned on both sides. So what I got here is a serving tray with a bunch of lettuce on it, and that's gonna go good with these. So I'm gonna use that as like a bed of lettuce to, to put these on, and it's gonna look really pretty. So. We'll just lay them on here, like so. All right, so I got them all done. I got them on this dish. They look really nice. So I'm gonna put some toppings on there as well. I'm gonna start off with a little sour cream. Kind of go down the line like this. A little bit on each one. Okay, and then a little bit of guacamole. Always have an interruption. That's all right. People trying to poke their heads in. This homemade guacamole is perfect. I like it a lot better than that stuff you buy in the store. It's so pasty and just not the same. A little bit of a little bit of tomato. There. And a little bit of onion. 
All right. Take a good look up close. These are my golden tacos or taquitos. They look good. They smell good. I can't wait to take a bite of these bad boys. And on that note, I think it's that time. So I'm going to start with this guy right here. It's got a little bit of everything on it. Take a bite right here first. Mmm. That's great. Boy, those are just like you. you bought them from the store. They are amazing. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. I highly advise making these again. And make everything by scratch. You know, mix up your own mixture. Make your own guacamole. It's worth it. This stuff is pretty good. I love it. A lot of prep work, but it's worth every minute of it. I've been waiting for a taco night for a, about a week or so. I finally got my way. These are looking amazing. I can't wait to eat four or five of these guys. Call it a night. It looks like I'll have a few left over for my lunch tomorrow at work. So by all means, give me some comments. Tell me what you think of these guys. Tell me if you try these at home or not. If you have, let me know about it. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I need some more subscribers. I'm at about a little over 50. I'm still shooting for my 100 subscribers. I'm doing really good with it. Um, I'm back in the mix of doing videos a couple times a week or at least once a week. So by all means, give me some ideas of some more things to cook. Give me all kinds of comments. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say. So on that note, I'm getting hungry. I can't stop staring at these guys. So if you just give me a few minutes, I'm going to go hammer some of these down because I'm Jimmy Eats. And I tell you what, that's what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to eat. Thank you. Have a great night.